We're playing a game every week. It's called Liars Club. Uh, are you familiar with it? Oh, okay. I am. I've, I've been on some uh, cruise ships that have, have done that on stage. Okay, so let's uh, let's give it a try. Uh, Ryan, let, let me just... Uh, Hold on, let's put the three of us here. Uh, let me see. There we are, beautiful. Hey, Ryan. Hello. Mark, that was absolutely incredible. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. I love listening to you as well. Uh, Big admirer of pianists. It's good. You got, a, you got an Oscar Peterson touch to me. That real, yeah. real uh, great finger work. Thank you very much. But it's just so nice to watch a master like you manipulate those cards. I mean, nice. I can't imagine the practice involved. I mean, I can only equate it to what it would, it would take to learn an instrument like this, you know? So, yeah, uh, absolutely. How great. I agree. All right. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Hey, Mark, uh, when you speak, I think we hear a little shh. Do you hear it also in the, in the, in the Zoom, yes? So I think there's like a, maybe a loose cable on, on, on your side or, or something you have to plug a little bit better, something with your microphone. We hear, when you speak, we hear a Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Let me take a quick look. Okay, take a quick look. We're going to start the game. Uh, Ryan, in the meantime, would you like to tell uh, our audience, those that just joined for the first time, how is the game? How do we play it? Give, give them a little bit of the instructions. Oh, yes, of course, the Liars Club. So this is also known as Two Lies and a Truth. And uh, basically the premise is Alan's going to give us a word a very uncommon word, a word that uh, most people wouldn't know or has probably never heard in their entire life. And we're going to each give you a definition of that word, and you are going to guess who is telling the truth and who is full of it, baloney. So, um, All right. What kind That's of word do we have today, Alan? So today, the word of the day is, we are up to the letter P every week. It's a, it's a, it's a new letter. So today we have... That's the word right there. Uh, do you know how to say that word? Because, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert in English, as you can imagine. Yeah, so that's uh, pedarchy. Pedarchy? Not to be confused with malarkey. Yeah, that's pedarchy. Okay. And Mark, how, how would you pronounce it? I, I would actually pronounce it pediarchy. 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 Yeah. Okay. All right, we still hear your ksh, 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 but uh, you're going to have to choose your words. <laughs> but, all right. Okay, okay. All right, so let's say, let's say, Ryan, what is your definition? What the meaning of pediarchy? So pediarchy uh, is actually a medical term, and it's for a specialist um, who's in the uh, pediatric field uh, that specializes in feet. So a lot of people go to the podiatrist, but... This is a specific skill set where the podiatrist only works on the feet of children. So it's a children's uh, foot doctor, basically. So uh, it's a medical specification that, uh, that deals with children's feet and feet issues. Mm, okay. Well, yeah. mm, that, so that's your definition. My, I, I that, think that... That's absolutely the right one, too. Ah, yeah. oh, forget it. Okay. <laughs> So Actually, sound effects. Okay. well, we, we're improving here. We're getting, we're getting some sound effects. Um, yeah. Actually, uh, Ryan, you were close. It has to do with, with, it has to do with feet. Okay. It has to do with feet. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, but it's actually, it's a condition of the feet. Those people that have like an overarching, like, like a big arch in, in their feet. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's, that's a condition and that's how it's called. Uh, pediatry. So that's that's the yeah. It's a condition. So I actually suffered so when I was a kid. I suffered from the opposite, from flat foot. So this would be the opposite of that. Oh, yeah. And that's why I know about it because you know I went a lot to the to the, to the doctor, and uh, he explained to me you know and I had flat foot and the opposite was a pediarchy. And I remember him uh, specifically saying it in a Hebrew which uh, I'm not going to get into oh. the Hebrew word right now. Um, yeah, don't confuse us. Yes, okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Mark, go ahead. Uh, you can uh, try to speak or, uh, or you can do it with sign language. <laughs> I'll try and try and speak in very, very short, short sentences. Now, okay. now archy, archy has to do has with to do leadership. leadership. A hierarchy, hierarchy is the order of leadership. leadership. And, and 
the, the prefix, prefix handy, handy is not is not discussing discussing feet, feet actually, actually, actually discussing, discussing, discussing shoulder, shoulder, as was alluded to earlier. earlier. Uh, okay. Pediatric yeah, doctor, doctor is one who deals with children. children. So, so a, a hadiarchy is actually, actually government, government that is led, led by child children. Okay, so I would try. I, I, I would try. To, I would try, try to figure out what you said between with between the words. And if you can, I don't know if you can, but maybe you can just switch to can the built-in mic to, uh, to uh, the built-in mic of your computer. That that would be great. But from yeah, but what I think that you said is that it has to do with hierarchy and with government and basically some kind of a go governed by children. Is that what it is? It has to do also with children. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me better now? We hear you horrible, really horrible. Ah, but we heard you good during the show, so that's what counts, okay? We heard you great yeah, during the great. show. Uh, maybe your batteries are running out or something. So here, here is what you what you sent me: government by children. Would that be correct? Just nod your head. Perfect. A thumbs up. Good. Government by children. So that, these are the options. Let's run the poll, and you will decide who sent the truth and who's full of it. Let's uh, launch the poll here. There you go. You can try and vote now. And uh, let's see here. There you go. So we're improving wow. here. You can see it live right now. The votes, votes. Okay. Wow. A lot of people uh, believe believe Mark. Maybe because he, he sounded so bad, they just believed him, uh, or. Uh, maybe some of them, okay, nobody's believing me, that's not nice, okay, so we have three, only three voted for me, 20 voted for Mark, and five for you, um, so we have 28 out of 51 voted, only 54% voted, so come on guys, vote, it appears on your screen, just hit, you know, you need to choose one of the three options, and that's it, go ahead, do it, do it, do it, I'm, we waiting here for a little bit more, there we go, we're getting more votes in, there, uh, Brian, Ryan, you are catching up a little bit uh, with Mark. I'm way behind. There is a big difference. Normally, in ma many shows, it's very, very close. But definitely, today, apparently, you either knew or didn't know at all the word. And we're going to figure out in a moment. So, um, is it done? 33 of you, 64% voted. You can vote now. I'm going to end the poll in a second. So one, two, and there you go. We got another vote in for me. Thank you very much. It was probably my mom or somebody that loves me. Uh, hey, Ryan, you <laughs> voted for yourself, no? No, I wouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, okay, because that's not fair. I did not no. vote. Okay. All right, so let's uh, share the poll here. You can see it right there on the screen. Perfect. So the results are A. Ryan, uh, nine people believed you, only five believed me, and 21 of you wow. believed Mark. Wow. And I wonder, is there a government in the world that is governed by children? I, I, I don't know, but uh, definitely there are many governments that do childish things, that's for sure. So. <laughs> So the answer is you won. You got it right. You got it very right. Yes, Mark. It is governed by children. You, most of you are right this time. You won. Uh, okay, I, we cannot get you every time, but that was uh, that was pretty good. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you guys. Wonderful, Mark. I really appreciate you joining us. Um, and please. Keep coming to the show. We are, you're very talented. You're a great storyteller, funny. We really enjoyed your show. And your sound was perfect during the show. So uh, just so you know. Thank okay, you very so much. Nice Thank you for watching. If you would like to participate on our weekly happy hour show, you can find a link to sign up in the description below. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking right here. And don't forget to click on the bell so you are notified every time we publish new videos. To watch the next episode of the Happy Hour, go ahead and click here.